Hi, this is Amara and today uh, I, will, I will show you how to do when you have uh, a problem with the water charge solenoid valve. Okay, I have installed in this machine one valve uh, with uh, this part broken. This part broken do not close and the valve stay in this case. Uh, when you have uh, a lot of lime scale uh, you can have uh, this issue. I turn on the machine. If you use the machine with this uh, issue, you have this problem. Uh, the water from the, the pump came from the exchanger but also in the steam boiler. This is a blind filter. As you can see, as you can see, the pressure cannot increase, or now the steam boiler pressure is moving and increase up, up to two bars three bars now the safety valve is open as you can see we have the same pressure in the in both part of the boiler we can try again As you can see, the pressure does not increase more than three bar. In this case, in this case, uh, uh, is because the, this part of the valve uh, do not work, uh, do not stop the water, and the water pass through the valve and uh, come to the steam boiler. Right valve. First of all, I have to remove the water tank. The machine is cold, it's important. Remove the drip tray. Okay. First of all, I remove uh, this, uh, the back, uh, this part of the machine. I remove these four screws. One. Two. Three. I remove uh, the tube, the first tube. I have to remove uh, these two parts. One is the coffee and one is for the steam. This is for the coffee. 
and this is for the steam Okay, coffee and steam. I remove this tube. Okay. I have to remove this water charge tube and I can remove these two screws. One and one two. Now, I have to dry on the fast one. This is the uh, steam and this is the coffee. Okay. Coffee and steam. I have to remove this tube and now the hydraulic circuit can go away. This is the hydraulic circuit. As you can see, we have the water tank, the pump, uh, no return valve. Uh, uh, freeway solenoid valve uh, for the coffee, OPV, OPV valve and uh, here you have the number 8 uh, is uh, this uh, two-way solenoid valve and uh, is for the st uh, steam boiler filling for service boiler okay this is the security valve because this machine have the um, have, haven't the press start but the oldest machine have the pressure stuck in this part as you can see Okay, this is hard. Okay, this is the two-way solenoid valve. Okay, if you have uh, a jiggler inside here, you have to remove it. This is an uh, old solenoid valve. You have uh, the sense. Okay, the sense is this. 
as you can see. Look, look this. And this is the sense. Or in the new solenoid valve, you have the number, you have the number two and the number one. Pay attention when you will restall the this part because you have to install with the number okay with the number one in this part you have to install in this sense this is an example okay you have the number one near the solenoid valve the coffee solenoid valve and the number two is uh, to the boiler to the steam boiler now I have to change the, the solenoid valve as you can see it is a little different because uh, with this, this is new you can ins ins inspection it to check with the 17 key you can open this valve have the number one and the number two okay this part is for the the number two is for the steam from the steam boiler and the number one is for the from the exchanger this is from the exchanger I need a little bit of glue in this size and in this size okay Okay. Okay. This part you have to close very not strong, a little bit because you can damage the valve. You you have to move it. Okay, a little bit. Okay. Now I have the new a new solenoid valve and uh, the machine can work correctly
turn on the machine ok now the machine the pump runs uh, and the machine is filling the boiler Okay, when uh, the level probe fills water, the heating element works. Stop the pump uh, and uh, after a few seconds this lead uh, goes on. Okay, now the lead is on, it means the heating element uh, works uh, and uh, the pump. Uh, now the machine is working, we, we can try the OPV valve. As you can see, now it's set it about uh, 10 bars. And uh, if you want a different setting, you can uh, adjust the OPV valve in this position with the 12 millimeter key. You can adjust, example, as you can see. Now he set it about uh, 10 bar. Now is 8 bar. Now is uh, 9 bar. In this case, uh, we have uh, uh, in this machine. Uh, 